wasted on those who defile Earthrealm. Please welcome the producer of the MKX Pro League and Combat Class, your host, Mr. Joshua Gray. What is up, Los Angeles? And hello to everyone watching around the world. Welcome to Mortal Kombat 11, The Reveal. I'm Joshua Gray, and I'll be your host for today's monumental event. Are you all as excited as I am to be here today? I hope so, because we have some truly awesome stuff to share with you, and I am so pumped to reveal some of the surprises Mortal Kombat 11 has in store. And I've got some excellent guests here to help me out. Ed Boone and the NetherRealm Studios team are here to talk about the new storyline and the tons and tons of content they've been working on for you. Tyler Lansdowne is in the building, <laughs> along with some of your favorite Mortal Kombat pros. Plus, we have some secret special guests in attendance that I can't wait to bring up here, including some real life badasses behind our characters. In just a few minutes, you will be the first people on the planet to fully experience the bone-crushing brutality of Mortal Kombat 11. Prepare to get hype. We are about to reveal even more gameplay for the first time in a worldwide premiere. This is the most blood splashing, gore spewing, spine snapping action you have ever seen in a Mortal Kombat game. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Please welcome to the stage, creative director of NetherRealm Studios and the co-creator of Mortal Kombat, Ed Boon. Ed. You and your team at NetherRealm Studios have done it again. There is so much to unpack here, and I'm sure you can't wait to dive into some of the gameplay. Yeah, you know, you, we've been biting our tongues since, you know, six months ago around E3, dying to, dying to show you guys this game. But we really wanted to kind of build the suspense. This is absolutely going to pay off for that. All right, Ed. I'll let you do the honors. Take it away. Yeah, you guys first, I think the first thing you wanted to do is see the actual game. So just let's, let's just roll them here. So we're very excited to show you first look at Mortal Kombat 11. Nobody else has seen this. Today we have seven characters to show you, some returning, some new. There's far more in this game that we'll be able to show you right here, but we do want to hit on the enhancements 
from the game, the fighting and the custom character variations. Garrus is a new fighter in the game and who can has a really cool time control abilities. You know, Mortal in NetherRealm games, we really try to add something new. Mortal Kombat X, we introduced a feature called Character Variations. Three versions of every single character. mk 11s expanding on that idea, creating custom character variations the player can actually create by themselves. So you notice they're selecting different versions of Scorpion. Some were created by the player, some were created already in the game. Same thing with Baraka. Cotton warriors are legendary. Then why don't you flee, Earthrealmer? The Shaddai Ryu embrace danger. Round one, fight! So this is a Mortal Kombat game, so you expect the fighting to be brutal. MK11 sees the return of Baraka, who was a fan favorite from Mortal Kombat 2. So let's see some of the moves he does here. Not to be outdone, Scorpion has a few tricks up his sleeve. Okay, now without getting too technical, we're gonna get into some of the geeky fighting game uh, moments up there. Mortal Kombat, traditionally we've had one meter that's a shared resource amongst the offense, defense, and the super moves. Mortal Kombat X is separating all three of those. So we have a horizontal meter is the offense attacks, vertical meter is the defensive attacks. See, Baraka's gonna shooting two using his offensive moves. Also can extend this leg stab here into a throw with a, also. Scorpion here is going to escape a, from a knockdown using his defensive meter. And you're going to notice here that the uh, fatal blow is, that's actually tied to 30% of the, of the health meter when it's reduced, you get fatal blow available. This adds completely new dynamic and tension to the fighting. Both in Bar Baraka and Scorpion have a fatal blow right now. Baraka wins this fight. Round two, fight. So Scorpion missed his fatal blow attack, but it actually will regenerate after a cooldown period. So you notice his, his fatal blow is established, he can pull it off. And now to be outdone, Baraka now has his Fatal Blow available. And of course, it wouldn't be Mortal Kombat without fatalities. We're going to quickly talk here about, we have custom variations. On this player variation screen, the players can create, modify, and collect multiple versions of every character. There are a ton of features that you can customize from the costume pieces, the intros, the victories, as well as a huge variety of skins here. Every, cost, every fighter has three costume pieces. You see Scorpion, they're changing the mask here, picking a new one. You can actually program these to different attributes. 
see we're swapping out the spear or the, the katana for a new one. And of course, Scorpion's iconic spear can be swapped out for a new one as well. Now this visual here is gonna give you an idea of kind of like the dramatic differences you can have in the different variations of Scorpion here. This is the case with all the fighters. So you're going to know a Scorpion and Barack, all the kind of variations you're going to see, you know, playing people online and whatnot. Our second fight here is Sonya versus, versus Scarlet, who was a returning character from Mortal Kombat 9. Looking for me, Scarlet. A few pints of blood is all I ask. Trust me, I'm not your type. Round one, fight. Both Sonya and Scarlet return with their classic moves as well as some new ones. Sonya has a bunch of gadgets that she can play with here. While Scarlet has her signature blood attacks. We're gonna take a look at some of the nuances we have. We have a new feature called the flawless block. A perfectly timed block will open a window for countering attacks. Watch Scarlet doing a quick hop. You can evade low attacks and also open another window for uh, countering moves. Now notice Sonya's health is reached below 30%. When it reaches there again, you're going to notice a fatal blow is available. That's when you can release the deficit. Again, Sonya has her fatal blow ready, so she can take... Release it. So that was enough damage to release Fatal Blow available for Scarlet, which she'll attack here. which is enough to win the match, and you might have seen a glimpse of this fatality here. <laughs> fatality. Scarlet wins. So that's a little piece of Mortal Kombat 11 but I, I'm guessing maybe you guys want to see some fatalities. A little more more. Okay, we're going to roll this footage. I uh, can't wait for you to check that out. Finish him. Okay, <laughs> first of all, Scarlet has returned.
What has it been like to bring back this fan favorite that we haven't seen since Mortal Kombat 9? Yes, we, we, we introduced Scarlet as a DLC character in Mortal Kombat 9, and uh, she's been one of the most demanded returning characters, so we knew we had to kind of abide by that. I know my buddy Scar out there is super stoked as well. All right. We saw some classic combatants like Scorpion, Sub-Zero, plus we have Dark Raiden, and Baraka is back. We saw Baraka rip somebody's face off. So, okay, we also have some new fighters. Um, for, for you and your team, what is this process like, not only to create new characters, but to refresh some of the classics? Uh, refreshing and deciding which ones to come back is pretty much you guys. You know, we really hear, we hear what you guys say. Uh, as far as creating characters, that's, that's some of the most fun we've had. You know, Garrus is a new character that we have a really cool look at. You're gonna see a little bit later. Um, but that process is usually very collaborative with, uh, you know, with the people. Right, looking forward to that, folks. And we witnessed combos, fatalities, but one of the hallmarks of Mortal Kombat has always been the rich, detailed story. So what can we look forward to in Mortal Kombat 11 when it comes to the story? Yeah, you, you saw a glimpse of the beginning of the story here. We actually have a video here. It's the entire opening cinematic, the whole prologue of the story. It really picks up right after MK9, and I think you guys are going to get a big kick out of it. Shinnok, is that mercy is wasted on those who defile Earthrealm. I will destroy our enemies before they destroy us, starting with you. <laughs> oh, Raiden, not even you can kill an Elder God. There are fates worse than death.
This is not your destination, Ark. Once again, the Thunder God has upset the balance of history. But know this. The Ark of the Universe bends to my will. It is only a matter of time. <laughs> That was amazing. April 23rd cannot come soon enough. So the story picks off right after MKX. Dark Raiden reigns. Time is being manipulated. How fun was it to dive into the rich Mortal Kombat lore and design moments when these legendary characters confront a different version of themselves? Yeah, that was the most fun about you know how we created the story. Um, we basically introduced a character, Kronika, who has been kind of running the show since the first Mortal Kombat. Everything that was happening was to her plan up to the point where Raiden kind of screwed things up. And that's when she's kind of stepping in and she's just going to play tricks with time that's going to introduce situations where old characters meeting their younger selves. And it's, it's, it's such a great, um, great story mode. We could not be more proud of this. Ed Boone, thank you so much for being here. Give it up for the legend, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I have one more question before we go. What other changes have you made for this installment? Um, we have something really special for Mortal Kombat 11. We have a real life badass playing one of our most iconic characters in the game. And uh, we cannot wait for, to, to make this announcement. Let's take a look. You've been looking for me, Scarlet. Hi. Sonya Blade calling in air support. Sonya Blade was the first, like, kick-ass girl that I saw come onto the scene, and I've always admired her, and admittedly kind of emulated her and you know my my own way and now I get to try and be her. The first time I can remember playing Mortal Kombat, my mom was a college professor and one of her students actually let me play and I was completely like button masher but I was Raiden and I beat him as Raiden and it was like the first time that I beat an adult in like anything. Yeah, I thought it was like the absolute coolest. Voicing a character has been really different and really interesting and fun because I don't have to think about how I look and only about how I sound. It almost gives me permission to be as ridiculous as humanly possible because no one's looking and no one's judging and all that matters is what it sounds like. <laughs> feels so good to say. Say it loud, it feels great. Yeah! <laughs> I've been a fan of Mortal Kombat for almost as long as I can remember. For a little kid, I love me some gore. <laughs> what drew me to Mortal Kombat, honestly, it was the first game that had like real intrigue of just more than, okay, I'm gonna hit this guy, he's gonna hit me and who wins. It wasn't just like, who's the better fighter. It was, why is this person mad at that person and this and that. It just drew me in to think about more than just fighting, but the world that they live in. And yeah, it's been a great experience being Sonya Blade.
please give a warm welcome to the reigning Raw Women's Champion, the first woman ever to be inducted into the UFC Hall of Fame, and the voice of Sonya Blade, Ronda Rousey! Rhonda, thank you so much for being here. How does it feel to be part of an iconic franchise like Mortal Kombat and to be voicing Sonya Blade? Oh, this, this is a dream come true. I really, I tried to grow up to be Sonya Blade as close as I could. Like, I feel like if Raiden came down right now and I had to pick three warriors Mortal Kombat, like, I would definitely be that person. And uh, now, instead of being the closest thing I can be to Sonya Blade, I am actually Sonya Blade. Earthrealm <laughs> is in good hands. So, how did you prepare for this role? Is there anything that you did specifically to get into Sonya's headspace or things that you pulled from your fighting experience? Uh, well, it was very secretive, this project. I really didn't get to know very much at all. And so I, I tried to inhabit her headspace by, um, by actually emulating her, her fighting style. And I got to do her Karana on Triple H at WrestleMania. So he was my Kano for the evening. And um, I've been watching the, uh, the gameplay. And Sonya actually does a uh, rolling Jujikatami armbar that is like my absolute favorite. She just rips somebody's arm off with it. I can totally do that. And so. Um, yeah, I was just getting my in your Sonya in. What excites you most about Mortal Kombat 11? Um, well, there's a lot, I'm excited about a lot, you know? I mean, there's, it's, they really do outdo themselves every single time, and when you, you, you don't think that they can do it anymore, I mean, it's, it's blowing my mind. I mean, I didn't think the graphics could get any better, and they obviously are. I mean, I have no idea what's going to happen, like, with the rest of the story. I know my parts, but even still, I'm just like, there's so much secret involved that I, I just cannot wait to see how the story unfolds. I, there's just, there's so much that um, I'm be probably ignoring my family for a while and shut up in a room. <laughs> yeah, we're all taking out. off work. Don't worry, we're all taking off work. Now, I already know the answer to this question, but which character are you most excited about from Mortal Kombat 11? Sonya Blade, of course. <laughs> Even though I kind of hope I see Johnny. Rhonda, thank you so much for being here. Ladies and gentlemen, Give it up one more time for the voice of Sonya Blade in Mortal Kombat 11, Ronda Rousey. Oh, more dreams coming true. <laughs> Next up, I want to invite someone you all know and love up here to talk about some of the things we have coming up for you on Combat Cast this year. Please give a warm welcome to Tyler Lansdowne. Tyler, wow. great to have you, man. Wow, Josh, thanks. Uh, it, it, thank you guys. See, good to see you. Good to see you. So I, tell us what's going on with yes, Combat yes, Cast this yes. year. I am so excited to be here for the real reveal of MK11. There's so much cool stuff coming up this year, and I want to let you know right now that our first Combat Cast is in less than two weeks <laughs> on January the 30th. That's right around the corner. What do you have planned? Well, the first one's going to be pretty big. Uh, new logo. We got a few surprises in store for you. I'm not going to talk about them right now, but... Uh, whoa. Whoa, 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 bro. Was that who I think it was? Yeah, that's who you think whoa, it was. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Was that... Was yeah, that no, 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 no. We're not going to talk about it right now. We're going to wait until the 30th to find out. <laughs> You're going to want to rewatch that and see that. Uh, is we, our first combat cast will be live on every single Mortal Kombat social channel. I don't want any of you to miss this. Okay, we got so much good stuff coming up, but I need to ask for a friend. Okay. Is there going to be a collector's edition? Actually, yes, there is a collector's edition this year. And it's badass, and I want everyone to see right now what we've put together. Whoa! Okay, that mask looks incredible. What is it? You have one. I actually have the scorpion mask. It wasn't magic, I just walked back there. This is one of the coolest collector's editions we've ever done. In addition to this mask, if you pre-order any version of the game, you get Shao Kahn and access to the beta, which begins on March 28th. Man, I, I don't want this. 
I need this. I <laughs> Put I me down for one, I, I am sold. And you can purchase yours too at your local GameStop here in the United States. For everyone else around the world, get more information at mortalkombat.com. That just about wraps it up for us here on stage, but stay tuned because we have a lot more coming up on the live stream. Yep. Tyler, you're gonna be interviewing some folks and a live look at the reveal floor here in Los Angeles and a pro exhibition featuring some of your favorite Mortal Kombat combatants. We do have one more big reveal, but first, a big thank you to Ed Boone and the NetherRealm Studios team for joining us. And of course, Sonia Blade herself, Ronda Rousey, for being here today. She's great. And I want to extend a huge thanks to everyone tuning in from all over the world. Thank you so much for being a part of the Mortal Kombat 11 reveal. We hope you're excited for the official release of Mortal Kombat 11 on April 23rd. Oh, so Josh mentioned the reveal just a second ago. Are you ready to see it? Yeah. Here we go. Giris. Nothing within your power, Raiden. Fatality. Yes. <laughs> 